so I've now got the gearbox just uh, sitting on top of the of the um, motor there we have our piece of uh, pipe in the center there I'll try and uh, see that a little bit better there there we go and uh, everything's just basically sitting there it hasn't been um, attached has not been welded or anything it's just um, just under the weight of the gearbox sitting on the plate and the first thing that you want to check here is that there's no gaps anywhere around here because that would indicate that the coupler between the two shafts isn't sitting isn't sitting straight so just go around and check that out you'll see there's no gaps there at all and, and um, everything is sitting as it should be so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power up here with our 12 volt battery and I'll try to get the camera to see down into that hole there or perhaps even uh, this inspection lamp here I might be able to illuminate the thing uh, a little bit better perhaps let's see how we can get out of this there we are be able to see pretty well in there there's our coupler gearbox input shaft um, all set up and happy okay so I'm going to connect the battery now on that light I'm going to turn off the camera light so I'm going to connect the battery now and you'll see the way this guy So, as you can see here, we're spinning the drive shaft output. Box is in fact in gear. So now we're checking to see if there's any nasty vibrations or, or anything that would indicate that our shaft coupler isn't uh, isn't 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 a hundred percent true. You can see that there's no. Play, no vibration, the gearbox doesn't sound like it's got a problem. In fact, it sounds better than it did when I had the jaw coupler on it. So, I'll try and do now I'll just get the inspection lamp into the other hole there and let you get a look in there with that coupler spinning around. Hopefully, the frame rate of this camera won't be. There we go. We can't see too well, but no play at all in that drive it's 100% happy you probably hear the gearbox there's there's no oil in it even at this stage so it's no harm to run it briefly at low speed like this but um, very very pleased now with this it's just a question of tacking the plates on there now. All of the bolts on the coupler have been tread locked. And um, yeah, very happy with this indeed. And it's far neater fixed than, as I say, that big plate over there was a bit of a, well, it was a bit overkill, I guess. Anyway. We can see there's no vibration, no play, no tendency for the gearbox to jump about on this plate here. Everything's 100% happy. I'll just stop there now because as I say there's no oil in it and that isn't a deep cycle battery so I don't want to kill it off either. So there we have it folks. Um, another important aspect of these uh, gearboxes and especially the Air wheel drive is that they have to the uh, the input shaft has to be supported. So that pretty much guarantees that you need a solid coupler in there uh, to provide that kind of support. Okay, that's it for now.